Welcome back to the world of electricity. In this video I would like to discuss what is meant by the term electric circuit. You might have been wondering how electrons can continuously flow in a uniform direction through wires. Do the electrons have a source, a place where they come from, like water from a water tank? Do the electrons have a destination, like a, a place where they go, like water down a drain? If two electrically conductive objects are connected together by a wire and one of the objects is charged more than the other, a flow of current will result. However, the current will not be continuous. It will soon stop when the charge pressures are equalized. It is often believed that the positive and negative terminals of a battery serve as the source and destination for the electrons. In fact, there is neither a source of electrons nor a destination. Yet the electrons flow continuously in the circuit without benefit of these hypothetical electron sources and destinations. In order for the source and destination scheme to work, both would, would have to have an infinite capacity for electrons in order to sustain a continuous flow. In order to understand this, we can use the analogy of marbles in a tube. The marble source and marble destination buckets would have to be infinitely large to contain enough marble capacity for a flow of marbles to be sustained. The answer to this paradox is found in the concept of a circuit, a never-ending looped pathway for electrons. If we take a wire or many wires joined end-to-end -end and loop it around so that it forms a continuous pathway, we have the means to support a uniform flow of electrons without having to resort to infinite sources and destinations. Each electron advancing clockwise in this circuit pushes on the one in front of it, which pushes on the one in front of it, and so on and so on, just like a hula hoop filled with marbles. Now we have the capability of supporting a continuous flow of electrons, indefinitely without the need for infinite electron sources and drains. All we need to maintain this flow is a continuous means of motivation for these electrons, which we'll address in the video Voltage and Current. It must be realized that continuity is just as important in a circuit as it is in a piece of wire, just as in the example of a straight wire between a charge source and a destination. Any break in this circuit will prevent electrons from flowing through it. An important principle to realize here is that it doesn't matter where the break occurs. Any discontinuity in the circuit will prevent electron flow throughout the entire circuit. Unless there is a continuous, unbroken loop of conductive material for the electrons to flow through, a sustained flow simply cannot be maintained. 